Hey everyone, it's Moon Math Goddess. Welcome back to the channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. And welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today's reading is one that was subscriber requested. Yesterday I posted in the community um, page for the channel uh, about what readings you guys would like to see next. Um, and this was uh, one of the uh, suggestions from a subscriber. And so we're asking Spirit today, what is their intuition telling them about you and the connection? So I want to kind of leave it open for you to use it for whether it is a romantic partner or if it maybe is a, a friend or family member or any other type of connection that you might have. So just kind of, you know, uh, take what resonates and kind of if you need to kind of reverse the energies in some way to kind of fit that situation, um, if it's love or a friendship or whatever it might be. So what is their intuition telling them about you and the connection? So just keep in mind that this reading may be a little bit triggering because it's really, we're looking into what another person's intuition is telling them about you. And, you know, sometimes there could be messages that come through, um, whether positive or negative. And I am a very um, direct reader. I don't sugarcoat. So it's just going to kind of be whatever I see come through. So just keep in mind that if you're feeling extra sensitive today and you know, you may want to come back to the reading at a later time. So what is their intuition telling them about you and the connection? Um, and I've chosen, um, high priestess cards because we are talking about intuition. So we have the high priestess out here. Um, and I've chosen it from three different decks. So Pile number one, you are going to be the High Priestess, um, and that is from the Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. Okay, so the High Priestess from the Tarot of the Cosmic Seed for pile number one, and you are going to be this dyed um, quartz crystal here. It's kind of dyed like a bluish purple color. For pile one, what is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? Pile number two, you are going to be the High Priestess from the Star Child Tarot for Pile two. And that is going to be with this Rose Quartz Crystal. And then Pile number three, you are going to be the High Priestess from the Uncommon Tarot. And that is this High Priestess here. And that is going to be with this Pink Agate for pile number three. So what is their intuition telling them about you, the connection? Timestamps will be down below in the description box as well as pinned to the comments. And I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pal one. So for those of you that resonated with this High Priestess card here from the Tarot of the Cosmic Seed and the Dyed Quartz Crystal, this is going to be a reading. So we're asking Spirit today, what is their intuition telling them about you and the connection? We're going to get started off with your Tarot first. And as I said in the intro, this reading may be triggering... Um, to some people because really we're, we're looking into what another person's uh, intuition is saying. So sometimes, you know, people's intuition can kind of pick up on some negative aspects, shadow aspects, or they can be positive. So if you're feeling very sensitive, you may want to come back to the reading at another time. So pile one, what is your person on your mind? What is their intuition telling them about you? We have the double energy here. What is their intuition telling them about you? So we've got some Capricorn energy coming through. What is their intuition telling them about you? Okay, so we do have the Page of Wands. We have Temperance in Reverse. 
We have the Hangman. We've got some strong Sagittarius energy coming through. We have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Three of Pentacles. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have the Four of Cups. What is their intuition telling them about you? And we also have the moon. Okay. And then I am seeing that we do have the page of cups um, as the overall energy here. Okay. So with the page of cups energy here, I do feel like this person's intuition is telling them that you are someone who is uh, very sweet, very kind, uh, very nurturing, okay? That you are someone who is also extremely creative. Um, you may be somebody who really enjoys arts and music and forms of expressing yourself no matter what way that is um, that you are someone who ha maybe has a tendency at times to kind of I feel like disconnect from reality at times you may be somebody who is like very dreamy or spacey um, I'm picking up that they also feel that you're someone who is very intuitive as well I do feel like this person sees you as someone who is very mysterious very deep um and I feel like this person knows that you are someone who is very intuitive and that they may even feel that you hide a lot. Like you may have kind of like a mysterious or secretive type of side um, that you may be somebody who does hold a lot of secrets. Um, I feel like this person is picking up on that you are a very deep thinker. Okay, a very deep thinker. And... For some of you, I'm picking up that this person's intuition is, is telling them that you really do have a very kind, sweet soul, um, that you are someone who comes across as very nurturing, very loving, very compassionate, um, very empathetic, that you are someone who does have a lot of goals, a lot of dreams, a lot of desires, um, that you're someone who does like spontaneity, who likes travel, who likes uh, expressing yourself through creative energy, um, that you are someone who gets very excited about kind of like starting new things. Um, and I hear the gardener lurking, <laughs> lurking right now. So if it gets too loud, I'm going to have to stop and uh, pick it up again once they stop. Um, and I also feel like this person sees you or someone, uh, for some of you who's, who's currently working on some type of project or that you really spend a lot of time in discovering more about yourself. Now, I am picking up a little bit of a shadow aspect here of what this person is kind of picking up on. And I feel like your person may kind of currently be feeling, and this may just be your person kind of being in their head a little bit about this. Um, I do kind of feel like this person's energy may be a little bit ungrounded. Okay, a little bit ungrounded. And so they may not be completely in tune with their intuition or have like a lot of intuitive hits that they're not able to understand or that their intuition may be kind of like very quiet and, and not really letting them know, like, you know, not really having things figured out. So I am picking up here with the Four of Cups energy here that your person... Their intuition could be telling them that there's something that you're feeling disappointed with, that they're kind of picking up maybe even a little bit energy of indifference, whether this is something that you are directing towards them or that there's some type of imbalance that you're really feeling within yourself. Um, some of you, this person may pick up that you have, I, I'm picking up for some of you some substances. Some of you may have... Um, whether this is drugs, alcohol, uh, maybe even some type of unhealthy patterns of behavior, 
relationship habits. Some of you, it could be codependency that they're kind of picking up. Um, some of you, this person can feel that you, that you do have a lot of irrational fears um, that you may currently also be feeling a little bit of confusion. You may, they're picking up that you may even be uh, having a lot of doubts about something that's go, kind of happening in your life. Um, what else am I seeing here? Yeah, I'm just kind of getting this energy where there's something that you're that they're picking up that you're wanting to work almost like your your attention is maybe kind of distracted away from this person. Um and it could be because of this some type of disappointment or indifference. Um even boredom for some of you, like just kind of feeling that there is something I feel like more or deeper that that you are looking for or or wanting to pursue I feel like within your life and that you do come across as someone who has a very healing type of energy you may be someone who's very heart-centered um caring about other people uh and I feel like this person their intuition is also picking up that you may have a tendency to kind of hold yourself back from, and this could be because of your own limitations, your own way of thinking at times when you do feel like you're kind of blocked, um, like your own intuition may kind of get clouded or blocked, um, that you're currently kind of feeling some uncertainty, I feel like about future, whether that is future with them, or it is your future personally, that they're kind of feeling that there is this a little bit of an imbalance happening within you and I'm also seeing that temperance energy in reverse so they are picking up a little bit of imbalance where that imbalance is happening between you and this person or they're just kind of feeling like something's a little off something's out of balance here um, it could even be that they're kind of picking up that you're paying attention to a lot of the more insignificant things or what they deem as insignificant meaning like if you you know it could be about anything um like let's just say that you are going to a theme park right you're going to a theme park it's, a, it's an exciting day the day is is meant for fun and then i i'm getting it if some of you may have like anxiety or or me maybe get um uh stressed or triggered really quickly um, about small things and so let's just say you're like you're you're going to the theme park it's supposed to be a good day and then something happens in the parking lot where you don't get the parking that you want or you know you something is just kind of going on where you focus more so on that one thing versus the day versus the experience or what you're having fun with so that's kind of to me what this this temperance energy for some of you is kind of the at is that there's a lot of focus that's put on things that may be in what they see is insignificant where you might kind of hold on to that and I feel like with the devil energy there it's it could be uh old patterns of behavior that you're really working on trying to break yourself free from but they're kind of picking up that when these things happen that you kind of might go right back into that old way of thinking. Okay. Um, I'm also picking up that their intuition is kind of telling them that right now you kind of feel like you are in limbo and I don't know what it is for. It could be about many different things in your life and that you're kind of waiting for maybe this new beginning or this fresh start or for, you know, something kind of to happen or to take place so that you're ready to, I feel like many of you build something, work on something. Some of you, it's it's, it's surrounding a career, your employment, or a project that you're trying to work on. Um, some of you, I'm kind of picking up that that they're feeling that you may be a little, you may feel a little bit stuck. Okay, that there's like I said, much that you're wanting to kind of explore and create and they kind of get this energy from you that you may there there's some type of disappointment that you're feeling here and it could be with them um it, it could even be some stagnancy that you're just kind of feeling you know 
And it could be that they're kind of feeling that at times your energy might be a little bit off. Is kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, okay, now for some of you with this devil energy here, this person could also, their intuition could also be telling them that there is a... I feel like a strong desire or, or this energy of within you that is, I almost feel like there's something that you're wanting to pursue here, something that you're really wanting here, something that you're really striving for, going after, wanting to pursue. And I feel like you're disappointed with how things are coming about. And I'm looking at this page of cups here and she looks like she is kind of walking along this path to this big opening here. And that opening is a little bit dark. There's a moon in there. So it's almost like the, the steps before you, the path ahead of you may be something that you are currently worried about. And they're kind of picking up on this energy from you. Like their intuition is telling them that, that you're worried about the future or that you're uh, you, you, like I said, you kind of might have this energy where they feel like you're not fully present in this moment right now, that you have a tendency to kind of get a little bit lost in your own thoughts, in your own thinking, um, fears, illusion, confusion. You may be feeling confused about something. You may be feeling a little bit blocked. And this is something that may kind of be throwing you out of balance, um, they may also feel that you are somebody who still is healing from something. Uh, still may be healing. Okay. Um, so what else do we have here? We've got Pisces energy uh, here as well. So I want to go into um, some of our Oracle messages here. So what is their intuition telling them about you? And this connection, um, their intuition may also be telling them that you are currently, if you are like dating, um, or, you know, in a relationship with this person, that there is a lot of love that's here that because the queen of cups is here, um, not only do they pick up that you know, their intuition is telling them that you are super intuitive, super intuitive. You may have a lot of psychic gifts. You may kind of feel things and know things and um, picking up on, a, you know, they, they, they're they aware of your intuition. Um, I'm also feeling that they, they may even kind of pick up that you are in love, that, that, the, that you have strong feelings or strong emotions towards someone. Um, and it may even be that you're wanting to build something here, like I said, with the three of pentacles energy here. Okay, so let's see what else. What is their intuition telling them about you? Pile number one. What is their intuition telling them about you? Wow, we have amethyst here. Let's get a couple more. What is their intuition telling them about you? We also have aura light here. And then we have, oh yeah, we've got Apache Tears here. Yeah, so definitely picking up an, an energy here that they see you, that there is something that you are healing from, okay? With this Apache Tears here, this is really talking about past, something from your past that this person is aware that you may not have healed from, okay? That there's something from your past that you have not been able to let go of, um, and this could have been a past connection, a past relationship. Uh, it could have even been something that you have experienced with this person. Um, it could be that they know that you'd really do, like I said, hold a lot of secrets, a lot of maybe even suppressed feelings or emotions from something from your past. Um, and this person is picking up, like I said, that you are a very deep person. There is like a very something that you may be hiding or concealing something um, within yourself. Um, and for some of you with that Apache tears energy here, this could be a lot of pain, a lot of challenges that you have faced in your life. 
a lot of things that you have gone through that their intuition is uh, telling them about you um, that you're trying you're working towards trying to release a lot of this pain wounds from the past um, so that you can uh, heal okay that you are currently healing from heartache but you are like I said with this Queen of Cups energy that there is a lot I feel like a lot of pain a lot of sadness and things from your past that you hold uh, within that they that they're I feel like they, they pick up on they're aware of um, yeah just a lot of a lot of release of, of that energy is kind of what they know they're picking up that there's there's a lot there there's a lot to you you are a very deep person um, with this oral light energy here I feel like this person knows that you were actively working on yourself that you're working towards becoming a better person a better version um, of yourself that you're you know some of you may be very focused on your spirituality um, that you're really working towards trying to ground yourself um, definitely all about healing and and kind of working towards accepting situations for what they are and trying to keep yourself grounded in the present. Some of you may also be working on meditation um, and being more mindful. Um, you may also be that they're picking up their intuition is telling them that you're, you're learning to be more mindful about your own behaviors, your ways of thinking and how you are changing or improving. Um, that you're learning to be more observant versus reactive when there are certain things that kind of come up in your life or when you are feeling out of balance. Um, you're working on uh, deepening your love and I feel like intentions and focus towards the connections that you do have in your life. I'm almost kind of getting this energy of a commitment. Like they're they're seeing that you are someone who's very committed. Um, and then with this amethyst energy here again, going back to your the release of old patterns of behavior that are kind of stuck in that devil energy. Like I said, that devil energy can be a lot of old patterns of behavior, old self limiting beliefs, old toxic relationship habits that may kind of come up every now and then meaning that if you have situations kind of arise with this person you may have a tendency to kind of revert back into that old behavior right you're working on on this I feel like this shift of uh perspective for yourself a new way of interacting with this person that you're you're more so learning to speak your truth and kind of uh, definitely on a healing journey, okay? The, the, this person definitely sees that you are working on yourself and working on this healing uh, for yourself, working on, you know, empowering yourself, working on uh, being much more balanced and more, more emotionally stable and grounded, okay? I'm just kind of seeing that they, they see you as someone who has a, a tremendous amount of, of love to give. You're just someone who's very loving, very nurturing. So let's see what else. What is their intuition telling them about your pile number one? Look at that. Emotional healing. We have the awakening crystal here. Yeah, so that you're working a lot on yourself. We have the rites of passage here as well. So this person may feel their intuition is kind of telling them that maybe your connection with them is going through healing right now or that there is this period of transition in your life that you're kind of going through, right? You're transitioning from the old self into this newer, more improved uh, version of yourself. What is their intuition telling them? We have heart healing. Okay. So yes, lots of healing here. Um, we have communication as well. Okay. 
So it could even be that you, they're picking up that your intuition has a lot that you may be also wanting to express to this person. You know, a lot of things you're, you could be improving uh, communication with this person and their intuition might be telling them yes about all of the healing that you're doing. Um, you're learning, like I said, how to speak your truth. And it could be that this person's intuition is, is showing them and telling them just how much more open um, you are to communicating, you know, maybe even to kind of strengthen the connection, strengthen the, the bond between you and them. What is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? And it may even be kind of making them have their own awareness that because you are someone who is so heart-centered and caring and loving and nurturing, that you, their intuition may also be telling them that you are that person who is also helping them to heal. That, 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 that you give off this healing energy and so it may be encouraging this person to learn to communicate more about their own feelings, their own heart, um, to mature themselves emotionally, that this connection is safe for them to be also able to release their own old patterns of behavior, right? Because you're bringing about this type of energy here with the Queen of Cups. Okay, um, for some of you with that four of cups, if this person has rejected you or pushed you away, I'm kind of feeling that the, this person, their intuition is telling them to change their perspective, change the way that they're looking at this connection because you are bringing this energy to the table and they may recognize that they do hold themselves. They may hold a lot of these secrets, a lot of blocked or repressed emotions. They may their intuition may be kind of bringing to light a lot of their own fears, a lot of their own insecurities and how much they're needing to really focus on healing and learn to communicate more about that. Okay, we've got holistic health here, right? So to me, like I said, you're giving off this healing vibe, this healing energy where it is helping this person's intuition to really change in a way where they have more an awareness of learning to tune in and to recognize what their intuition or their gut feeling is telling them is that you are someone who does care about them. You are someone who may love them um, and that you do have their best interests. Like you really care about them. You want them to heal. You want them to also work on themselves and healing, mental health, emotional well-being, I feel like is something that you are very focused on and it could be for yourself and it could be that their intuition is also telling them that you're also wanting this for them. You're wanting them to also face their own shadows, right? We have dreams here and we have clarity. So this person, I'm loving all of these colors. Um, this person here, their intuition, um, this person may be having a lot of dreams about you. You know, a lot of dreams here. And I feel like with the clarity here, their intuition is kind of giving them the clarity that they need to see you. I feel like for who you are as this nurturing person, I feel like that is encouraging them to also focus on their own healing. Okay. This person, I feel like a lot of connection to you in the, uh, in the dream state here. So let's see what else, what is their intuition telling them about you? In this connection pile number one we have a vampire here and it says makes you aware that some so that someone or something is draining your life force um, and then the shadow of that says depleting others for your psychic survival chronic complaining or codependency okay now some of you yes there may be a lot of healing that you're needing to do. And it could be that they feel like if you have suppressed a lot of those feelings and those emotions, you know, or it could be a vice versa situation as well, right? Um, it could be that they're feeling that you are holding a lot of this pain inside and that you may come across as codependent with that double energy. Um, you know, like I said, sometimes fixated on a lot of the small things, right? And it could be that that energy at times 
can be draining. Okay, that energy can be draining depending on who's on the receiving end of that. Um, it could also be a vice versa situation in which their intuition is, is kind of, like I said, highlighting to them all of these things from their past that they are holding on to, that they are having this awareness of that they need to release. And they could be aware that these things may also be sucking the life out of the connection, sucking the life out of, out of them. Um, so let's see what else. What is their intuition telling them? We have gossip here and it says awakens consideration for the feelings of others and honoring trust. Okay. And then the shadow attribute to that says thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information and betraying confidences. So some of you, this intuition or this person's intuition could also be making them feel a little bit shaky, making them kind of think for some of you, you know, if there is some type of secret, you know, they may even be worried, have trust issues, right? Irrational fears of trust, um, you know, maybe worried about betrayal, worried about uh, getting cheated on. Like if you're in a relationship with this person, they could worry that you are going to cheat on them or that you are going to betray their trust. Okay. Um, the light attribute to that with awakens consideration for the feelings of others and honoring trust, you know, that they could also see you complete opposite. They could see you as someone who is caring, loving, um, trustworthy that they're wanting to be able to trust you maybe if they've had past connections and relationships that that were not so great right that you're kind of giving off a a different vibe here um let's see what is their intuition telling them about you and this connection we have yeah we've got mother here We have nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. And then the shadow aspect to that is smothering or abandoning, instilling guilt um, for becoming independent. Okay. So, you know, there, there, there's always a shadow side to everything, right? So you can come across, yes, as very nurturing, very loving, um, very patient, very kind, compassionate, empathetic. The shadow side of that with that devil energy, like I said, there's still things that you may be healing from that their intuition is telling them. And um, it can be that sometimes that shadow creeps through. Sometimes that shadow shows itself, right? And it could be that kind of negative aspect where they may feel that because of a lot of the things that you may have gone through, that this shadow side makes its appearance, right? Uh, and it may not be the best. Okay, so let's see what else. What is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? We have judge here. And it says balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. And the shadow aspect says offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. So it may even be, because of what I'm kind of seeing here with this judge energy here, is that for the most part that you are someone who is very considerate of other person's feelings, that you, the, that, that you are someone who is not judgmental, right? That you try to treat everyone fairly, you try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt, okay? But then that shadow aspect could be that at times, you know, there could be criticizing other people, gossiping about people. Um, some of you I'm even picking up, and this is only for some of you, uh, it may only be one of you, but some of you could have a mother figure um, in your life that is toxic and that is a little bit of a drain on your energy. Um, there may have, there may be a lot of... Um, Family, drama, gossip, things that are kind of going on between family members that this person also has an awareness that you are healing from as well, okay? So that may only be for, for, for one of you, that, that, but I'm seeing that coming through here as well. 
So let's see. Or you may even kind of be currently dealing with something that is, is very, look at that, draining your energy, anxiety. Okay. What is their intuition telling them about you? You're very anxious, right? You're very nervous. You could get very worried about, like I said, certain situations, you know, and that I feel like in itself is kind of like what throws you out of balance, throws you off balance. What is their intuition telling them? They may also be someone who's very anxious, right? Feeling very anxious. Um, let's see what else we've got. Victory here. What is their intuition telling them about you? Yeah, there's something that you're worried about. Something, like I said, that's kind of draining your energy. Whether it's this person, whether it's them, or there's something outside of you. Something that you're currently dealing with in your life that is, is kind of throwing you out of balance. And I feel like when you're good, you're good. Like you are on top of it, you know? But I just feel like at times you're, you're still healing, you know, with the energy of victory here that you, that you, they recognize that their intuition is telling them that you really are someone who is very stand out to them. They may look up to you, you know, in some aspects for everything that you've overcome, that you've achieved in your life, um, that you're someone who strives for better, for greater. Um, you may also, their intuition may also be telling them that you put a lot of pressure on yourself. Like you put, sometimes you may even stress yourself out. Um, give yourself anxiety, you know, because you, uh, I feel like because you, you are someone who's very intuitive, you pick up a lot of energy. Some of you are empaths. You pick up a lot of energy from other people and that energy can be very draining and throw you off. And so you are someone who does need to clear your energy. And sometimes when they feel like if you're going through something really stressful or if you're in your head about something, that that's when they kind of notice their intuition is telling them, okay, pile number one isn't feeling so great. There's something that's bothering them. How can I fix this? How can I approach this? You know? Um, let's see what else. What is their intuition telling them about you in this connection? We have the door to personal healing and happiness. Okay. And we have patience at the bottom. Right? So if you're in a romantic connection or you're dating this person, um, then it could be that they know and their intuition is telling them be patient with pile number one. They're currently going through their healing process. Um, they're working on becoming a better version of themselves. They are aware if they get anxious or if they let some of their insecurities come through or if they're feeling out of balance, that they have an awareness, right? It's, it's not like you're just like, oh, I'm being this way today and I'm not even taking accountability or responsibility for my words or my actions. Kind of like this person is, is knows their intuition is telling them that you are aware of where your insecurities are, where your doubts are, where your fears are, and what things you need to work on. And I feel like it's kind of like their intuition tells them that you are a work in progress. We all are a work in progress. And you are really wholeheartedly looking to just be happy and healthy and mentally, emotionally, and kind of you know, and it could also be that this person is also seeing you. Their intuition is also telling them that you are and may be this person in their life that is going to help them achieve their own personal healing and happiness and to be patient, you know, especially if there are some unhealthy patterns of behavior that exist in your connection or your relationship with this person. Their intuition is telling them, be patient, right? Right. Like this energy isn't going to last forever. If there's any things that are kind of coming up here that this person is sure and they're clear that you are someone that they also have very strong feelings for with this queen of cups. Okay. So their intuition is telling them, be patient with the process. You know, don't, don't try to judge and try to 
you know, uh, start fights or arguments and, and things like that. Like just be patient um, with this process with you. Um, so let's get these last messages. Pile number one. What is their intuition telling them about you in this connection? What is their intuition telling them? We have the runner here and it says fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and in letting go, turmoil and fleeting, right? So their intuition, which like I said, with that moon energy there could be blocked. You know, I'm kind of picking up that this person's energy could be a little bit ungrounded. They could be the one, like I said, that has a lot of this healing to do. And so their first instinct might tell them run, right? Fear of intimacy. Let's just run where when they are grounded and when they can really open themselves up and allow themselves to feel safe and allow for vulnerability, their intuition is telling them, be patient, right? Give this connection, give this relationship, give this situation a chance versus running. What is their intuition telling them? What else is this? Cautious, look at this. Apprehensive, guarded, and afraid. Okay, and to me, that is the ungrounded, the ungrounded energy here. What is their intuition telling them? We have decisions and it says choices, inconsistencies and feeling conflicted, right? And that would be blocked energy, right? Blocked energy because our intuition is always going to lead us into the right direction. So being that we have that moon energy there, the moon is the subconscious mind. It is also very clouded because the moon energy is very deceptive. It creates illusions, right? So to me, it's kind of like your, your person's intuition is, is blocked at times. And because of there's so much heart heavy healing that this person may need to do, a lot of those feelings, a lot of those fears, a lot of those insecurities are blocking this person's intuition to where they feel kind of scattered all over the place, anxious, nervous, um, right? And so to me, the cautious energy here, being afraid, guarded, inconsistent, conflicted, the runner energy, these are, these are blocked intuition to me, right? Those are, I don't know. I am, that's just kind of what I'm feeling here, looking at the rest of this energy that's here. So what is their intuition telling them? Okay. We have leveling up, ascension, elevation, and maturity, right? That goes along with this being patient. We have awakening here. I feel like my voice is going to go. Um, we have this awakening here, realization, epiphany, and an understanding, right? So they're moving beyond, right? They're having that shift in perspective with the uh, hangman to where they can rise above this type of energy, right? Mature, emotionally, mentally. Um, so I feel like their intuition is telling them, stick it out, right? You'll be able to move beyond. You'll be able to heal. This person is wanting to love you and to nurture you and to provide healing or to help you, to be there, to be a support system for your healing, um, you know, to really help them through this process where initially, yes, they may kind of have that when that devil energy shows up, when that, you know, uh, the shadow aspects, the triggering that might occur between you and this person, it may immediately to be like, because this to me is fear-based energy, right? Fear-based energy that is telling them run, right? Get away. You can't trust this person because of all of that heart healing, emotional healing that this person needs to do. Right. And I feel like their intuition is telling them that you are kind of waking them up to learning to be more mature emotionally and to face their fears and to, you know, really dive deep within themselves. You know, it could even be that you are kind of like the support system for this person with victory, that you're kind of providing positive encouragement to them, you know, almost like you're rooting and cheering for them. Like you've got this, you can do this. Right. So I love, I love it. There's a lot of transition that's happening with this. Um, but I'm going to leave it here for you, pile number one. I'm needing to rest my voice before I do pile two and pile three. But I hope this was helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading.
Hi Patu, so for those of you that resonated with the High Priestess from the Star Child Tarot and the Rose Quartz, this is going to be your reading today and we're going to get started off with the Tarot. We're asking Spirit today, what is their intuition telling them about you um, and this connection? So let's see. So as I said in the intro, <clears throat> Uh, this reading may be triggering, you know, really depending on what kind of things show up, what this person's intuition is telling them about you. So if you are feeling extra sensitive today, um, you may want to come back to the reading at a later time. Okay. Path two, what is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? Okay, so we do have the Knight of Swords. What is their intuition telling them about you? We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. What is their intuition telling them? We have the Two of Wands. Wow, we have the High Priestess. What is their intuition telling them? We also have the Nine of Pentacles. And then we have the Chariot. Okay. We do have the Strength card underneath the deck. Okay. Now I'm kind of picking up that for some of you that chose this pile, that this is going to be a romantic partner. Someone that you are wanting commitment with. Okay. Someone that you are wanting commitment with. And I feel like this person's intuition is almost I'm almost kind of feeling this person is feeling very conflicted very confused and it could be that their intuition is kind of telling them one thing and they're doubting it like they're not trusting it they're they're feeling conflicted and you know we've all been there where our intuition is kind of leading us in one direction and then we kind of go the complete opposite way because we get afraid or uh, something that's here. I am feeling this energy here of freedom. Okay. There is this energy here of freedom. So I'm almost kind of picking up that this person may be holding themselves back because I feel like this person does like their independence. They are someone who likes the energy of just being free and independent and kind of focusing on their own happiness, their own fulfillment. And it may even be that their, their intuition is kind of telling them to choose themselves. Okay. It's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, I do feel like this person does see that you are someone who is very intuitive. You may be very psychic. Um, I feel like their, their intuition is telling them for those of you where this is romantic, this person is that their intuition is telling them that you want commitment. Okay. That you want commitment. And for some of you, they're kind of getting the energy from you that you're wanting to rush into a commitment that you're wanting to, that you're wanting them to take action. You're wanting them to show you that they are putting forth the energy, the intention, the focus towards committing themselves to you. And this person is kind of feeling very conflicted at this time. Their intuition is kind of leading them to this place where they feel not quite sure about whether or not commitment is something that they want or do they want more of this energy of just being free and independent and just kind of being and doing their own thing. Okay. Um, 
that's kind of what I'm seeing here for those of you where this is a romantic partner, that this person is just kind of all maybe more focused on themselves. Um, for those of you where this has nothing to do with a romantic partner, then I feel like this person sees you as someone who is very decisive, someone who's not afraid to take action, that you're someone who is really work focused on your career goals, your manifestation, um, that you are someone who gives off a very nurturing energy. You're someone who's very grounded. You're someone who's open to taking risks. Um, that you may currently be like kind of like at a crossroads in your life where there's something that you are wanting to accomplish for yourself. This person also sees you as someone who is very independent. Um, you have a lot of willpower, a lot of strength, a lot of courage. You're really working towards your goals, your dreams, your desires, kind of all about wish fulfillment at this time. But there's something that this person is picking up on that has got you stuck. Okay, something that, that is kind of keeping you stuck. And it may have something to do with them. Um, because we do have the two of swords here and we also have the two of wands. And both of these are stuck or stagnant energies or can be if we keep ourselves in that place too long. Um, I feel like this person does see you as someone who is very attractive, um, someone who is very psychic, someone who also has a very mysterious side to you. Um, I feel like this person does see you as a very strong person, someone who is very focused on future. You know, what's happening, how things are playing out. Um, that you are someone who does have a good head on your shoulders. Okay, so we've got some Leo energy here. Cancer, uh, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay. I almost want to see what this what this is that they're picking up on that you're feeling confused by. And it could even be that you're confused by this person, like their actions or lack of action. Um, so let's see. What is this Two of Swords energy here? We have the Magician. What is this Two of Swords? We have the Two of Cups. Yes. Okay. So like I said, their intuition is telling them that you want a relationship. You want a partnership. You're looking for commitment from this person. For those of you where this is romantic, you're, their intuition is telling them that you are looking for a relationship that you may have very strong feelings for this person. And I feel like their intuition has got them confused. And I, I don't feel like it could be their own fears that are kind of blocking out their intuition. Like I said, I'm kind of feeling this energy about freedom, that your person is wanting independence, freedom, um, and kind of very, very focused on themselves. And so... This person is feeling conflicted about whether or not to enter into a relationship or a partnership with you. Okay. Some of you where this has nothing to do with love, it could be that, that this person's intuition is telling them that there is something, some type of opportunity that you are looking or, or working on manifesting. And this could be a new job. It could be uh, something for your career. Okay, let's see what this Two of Wands energy is here. We have the Six of Wands. For some of you, I feel like this person's intuition is really showing them and telling them that... I feel like you are someone who's very stand out to them. 
your energy, your presence is something that is very stand out to them. You are someone who is very wise. You're very knowledgeable. Um, I feel like you could also be teaching this person a lot. And their intuition is, is, is knowing that. They're kind of taking in all of this energy from you. Um, you may be also someone who's very successful. You know? Like you're really, their intuition is showing them and telling them just how much you are really working towards your goals. And you're not really allowing anything to kind of stop you. You know, like you're just kind of like on a mission to accomplish many different things, I feel like, in your life. Um, very powerful, you know. This person sees you as someone who's very strong, very powerful energy. This person also, with their intuition, is telling them that you've also gone through a lot of very strong transformation of self. Um, what is this? Two of Wands energy. The Four of Wands. Yeah, I am definitely getting this energy here of romantic relationship. Uh, and I feel like this person is kind of like on the fence with it. You know, part of their intuition could be saying, yes, let's do it. Let's be in a relationship with each other. But this person is also, I feel like their intuition is also telling them, don't rush it. Don't rush into it, you know, because I feel like this person also, like I said, this in, this energy of freedom, this energy of independence that this person is, is maybe really liking right now, you know, for themselves, for their life, for where they're at right now. And I feel like their intuition is telling them, for those of you where this is relationship situation, that you would be a good partner to be with for long term. Um, that because you do have a very nurturing energy, you are someone who really cares and puts a lot of focus, a lot of energy and intention to whatever it is that you are doing. Um, and I feel like this person's intuition is is kind of like making up in their head that they could have a relationship with you, right? It's almost like their intuition is trying to tell them, just do it, just do it, just, you know, commit. But I feel like with the strength energy here, there's there's something here that is making this person kind of hold themselves back from acting out impulsively just to kind of rush into it or just to kind of go uh, right into it. So let's get some Oracle messages here. Pile number two. What is their intuition telling them about you? I feel like for some of you, this person's intuition is telling them that the two of you could have a very stable, happy, harmonious type of relationship. For some of you, this could even be about reconciliation, that their intuition is telling them to reconcile. But then on the other side of the coin, just stay single, you know? So what is their intuition telling them about you in this connection pile number two? We have aquamarine. What is their intuition telling them about you? I don't even know how to say that. Do more tearite, do more to write. What is their intuition telling them about you? And then we also have Amazonite here um, at the bottom. So uh, let's kind of go over the aquamarine first. Okay, so with the aquamarine energy, this is about your person. Like I said, because we have the high priestess show up here, the, uh, the high priestess is all about intuition, right? And about finding those answers from within and about listening to their intuition. And with the energy of aquamarine here, it is that this person is kind of working on clarity and also about being calm in their discernment um, about their choice, about their decision. And we're already seeing that there is a choice or decision that your person is feeling conflicted about with the Two of Wands energy here and also the Two of Swords. So they're trying to be very discerning about their decision. And for some of you, like I said, it is about relationship. It is about partnership. 
So their intuition is telling them, slow down. Okay, slow down and take their time when it comes to communicating what their own needs are, right? Because like I said, that nine of cups can sometimes be very self-focused. Your own personal happiness, your own personal fulfillment, meaning what do they want? What do they feel, right? They may also, like I said, with the nine of pentacles and the chariot energy here, be happy with freedom, being free and, and, and confused about whether or not relationship is something that they're really wanting. Um, so the intuition is telling them to slow down, right? And to let go of maybe any old patterns of behavior that they may have had. You know, like if your person was someone who kind of rushed into things very quickly in the past, right? And, and kind of needing to really ground themselves. Their intuition is telling them to ground themselves um, and really tune in and listen to what their intuition is telling them, which I feel like is a lot of b being more observant, being more discerning, and to kind of make decisions that are going to be ones that they feel fulfilled by, that they are happy with. Okay, because there is this element here of the, your person wanting to be happy with the decision that they do make. So their intuition is telling them, slow down, don't rush anything, right? And really make the decision or the choice that is going to be the best for whatever situation that you do have kind of going on um, with this person, right? And if it's, especially if it's romantic, they may feel like if you are someone who's trying to rush, right? You're trying to rush into a relationship or you're wanting commitment. Their intuition is telling them the opposite of that. Like, take your time. Take some time to really think about things. Um, and then with this demortyrite energy here, this energy is about being organized, focused, um, and... Any type of interactions that this person does have or any type of challenging feelings, emotions that they're kind of instead of kind of making rush decisions through it, right? Impulsive because the strength energy can also be incredibly impulsive as well as the Knight of Swords, right? Very fast without thinking, just kind of jumping right into things and not thinking about what the consequences are, how it's going to affect them. So I feel like this person's intuition is telling them to slow down right? To slow down with making uh, decisions here as well. Um, I'm also feeling like this person's intuition is telling them how much they also need to really learn to love themselves, right? And to find balance also within themselves um, is kind of what I'm seeing there as well. And how to... Um, I feel like plan things, right? Plan things out, strategy, planning, um, so that they are able to kind of improve relationships. And I'm kind of feeling more so it's because of maybe past patterns of behavior that they've had in relationships where they're not wanting to kind of repeat mistakes or things that have been rather challenging or difficult that they're trying to be better and do things better, say, this time around, okay? And then we've got Amazonite here. And their intuition is also telling them to be truthful with you, to be honest with you, and to kind of allow for more of a natural flow, okay? To find balance, flow, versus trying to um, rush, like I said. Um, and then going back to this energy here, this is also, like I said, a lot of this energy here is having to do with love. And the Amazonite here, is really asking this person to not stay blinded, right? To really kind of, you know, are, am I seeing what I want to see? Or is this something that there is a real connection that's, that's here? For some of you, I'm, I'm picking up that it can even be like where this person is, their intuition is telling them, is this love or is it lust? Okay. Is there something that's really here between me and uh, pile number two? Okay, for those of you where that is a, a romantic um, situation. So I feel like this Amazonite energy is really putting your person very deep in thought about whether or not this relationship is really one that is meant to be, meaning that if it's romantic or platonic, is it really a relationship 
that is meant to be in their life. Okay? Are you really a person that they are meant to be with? Or is there someone out there that this person feels is is more deserving in a way, right? Um, I'm also picking up that this person's intuition is, is I feel like an obstacle for them is, is trust, right? Trusting that this connection that you have with them is one that the two of you are meant to move forward with, whether it's a friendship or a romantic partnership, okay? Um, so yeah, I just kind of feel like this, this connection here, their intuition is really kind of putting them very deep in thought and to really take their time to really think about things, about whether or not this is, this connection is something that they feel is meant to be for them or is it something that they're meant to move on from and let go of? Okay, it's kind of what I'm feeling there. So let's go into some more here. What is their intuition telling them about this connection? We have the shadow here. Okay, the shadow. We have gratitude. What is their intuition telling them? New beginnings. Okay. Hmm. I want to get one more. What is their intuition telling them about you in this connection? Grounding. Okay. So like I said, a need for grounding themselves, grounding their energy here. Right? They could be facing a lot of the shadow aspects of themselves. Right? A lot of that shadow energy that's coming through. Um, like I said with the Six of Wands here and the Four of Wands, I kind of feel like this person does hold you in some high regard. Okay, that there is, I, I feel like for some of you, you could have been in this person's light and you, life and you could have shown them a lot. You could have taught them a lot from this. And I feel like this person does have gratitude for you um, and for being, you know, part of their path, part of their journey. Um, but this new beginnings energy here to me, it could be kind of taking them into two different directions from what I'm seeing. This is either towards you or away from you because of that two of wands and that two of swords where the person is feeling conflicted at a stuck at a place of indecision and kind of torn in two different directions. Okay. And because of this energy here with really taking their time to think about things and, and kind of deciding whether or not this is a connection that they're wanting to move forward with, right. Or move away from. And so this person's intuition is telling them, like I said earlier, not to rush, take their time. Um, so let's see what else is coming through. What is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? We have a forgiveness. What is their intuition telling them about you? We have divine wisdom. What is their intuition telling them? We also have clarity. Okay. So we're already kind of seeing that is where this person is, is wanting to really gain clarity on their decisions, their choices, how to move forward in this situation. Um, we have forgiveness here. So for some of you, it could be like really depending on what the situation is with you and this person, their intuition could really be feeling very apologetic towards you. Their intuition could be telling them to apologize. Like I said, for some of you, I'm kind of picking up that this person could be focused on themselves and I'm seeing self mastery underneath the deck, right? So this person could be wanting to come forward and be honest, being truthful with you, um, like I said, I kind of feel like this person has learned a lot from you, from this connection. You've helped this person to face a lot of the shadow aspect of themselves. You know, how to get rid of a lot of maybe negative or toxic types of ways of being and doing. Um, like I said, I'm kind of getting this person more so focused on themselves. Okay, with self-mastery here, you may also be kind of highlighting their intuition is telling them how much maybe of their shadow that you are kind of bringing to light and how much they need to really ground themselves and work on themselves. 
um, with this energy of forgiveness here, you know, it could be that their intuition is telling them to forgive you, to forgive themselves, to forgive the situation, to forgive things that have kind of happened in their past. Um, they can also be seeing this as an energy that is kind of blocking them as well. Like if they're holding on to certain things from their past that are kind of blocking them from being able to move forward. Okay, so let's see what else. What is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? We have gambler here and it says willingness to follow their intuition even when others doubt you, right? And then we're seeing kind of like in this image here, there is this person that has a blindfold on, right? And they're kind of moving ahead and moving forward. And it could be that they're learning, like I said, because especially we have the, the high priestess show up, that they're learning to trust what their intuition is telling them, right? And I feel like their intuition is telling them, like I said earlier, just do it. Just be in the relationship. But to me, those fears, the shadow... And a need for really grounding themselves so that they can truly trust what their intuition is telling them, right? To me, that gambler energy is also about taking a risk, right? Taking a risk here. The shadow attribute says relying on luck rather than hard work, right? So are they really taking the time to really work on themselves? Or are they just kind of moving along impulsively, maybe like they have done in the past, was just saying, you know what, screw it. Let's just try it and see if it works. And, you know, but I almost feel like it's kind of like your person's intuition is telling them, yes, you should be a part of this connection, this part of this relationship. But I also feel like they have to really learn to ground themselves and to learn to tune in, quiet the mind, and find the answer within themselves, you know? And especially for where they're feeling kind of like on the fence about this connection with that Amazonite here, you know, is this really a connection that is meant to be? And that's kind of the answer I feel like that this person is trying to find out is, is are you really the person that is meant to be with them? If it's romantic or if it's a friendship, are you really a person that, that is meant to stay in their life? Or are they meant to move on from this? Are they meant to kind of take whatever lessons they've learned in this situation and this experience that they've had with you? Or is it one that they're just kind of, like I said, meant to just kind of free themselves from and move on from and create a new beginning elsewhere? Okay, so what is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? We have child eternal and it says determination to remain young in body, mind and spirit, ability to see things with fresh eyes. So their intuition may also be telling them, yes, like I said, slow down, take your time, see things clearly versus through illusion, which could be fear-based, especially with us having the shadow here. Okay. Um, the shadow attribute says inability to grow up and be responsible, extreme dependency on others for physical security, right? So their intuition can also be telling them break free from the old patterns of behavior from any codependency from any attachment unhealthy attachments that you may have to people so it's kind of like their intuition is telling them change your perspective with the way that you look at this connection future connections other connections and be more grounded in the way that you are learning to trust in your intuition with where it is guiding you to be and this may be something pretty new for your person because you know we all have an intuition not all of us listen to it. Not all of us feel completely crystal clear with where our intuition is guiding us, right? So their, your, their intuition may also be telling them that they need to grow up. Maybe they do need to grow up. Maybe they do need to take accountability. Maybe they need to be more responsible with their choices, their actions, their decisions, and how they move forward. And so when the intuition comes in, intuition is trying to set your person on the right path for them, for themselves, and for their journey, whether that is with you, with them, or you away from them. And I feel like that is kind of where your person's intuition is trying to help them um, at this time. We also have rebel here, and it says challenges authority to affect social change, rejects spiritual systems that do not serve their inner needs, and the shadow attribute says rejects legitimate authority 
out of anger, rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Okay. So their intuition, you know, may also be like if this person has always, you know, been say more impulsive, right? With that Knight of Swords energy, the Knight of Swords can be incredibly impulsive, reckless, making quick, fast decisions and not thinking about how those decisions could affect them later on down the road, right? So they may even have a little bit of a rebel energy where like, I just want to be free. I want to kind of do my own thing. I want to do me, right? So there's kind of like that, that energy there where part of them, like I said, wants to be free and kind of do them versus let's settle down, right? And so that's kind of where that deep thought thinking process about whether or not you are someone who is meant to be or to stay in this person's life. So what is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? We have strategy here, right? So planning. We also have goddess of the moon, which again is to me, because we're talking about the moon energy, it can be very, you know, intuitive, but the moon can also be very deceptive. So to me, it's kind of them moving beyond a lot of those fears. We have woman holding a heart here. And I feel like their intuition is showing them that there are feelings that they do have. You could also be someone who is offering your heart to this person, that you are willing to love this person. They may even know their intuition could be telling them that you have feelings for them. You love them. You're offering your heart to them, right? So they're trying to think about the best plan, the best course of action, right? Do I need to, to walk away and work on myself? Is this person meant to be meant to be in my life? Okay, their intuition can also be telling them, allow yourself to be vulnerable, allow yourself to be open, right? Allow yourself to be more nurturing, be more compassionate, be more empathetic, be more in tune with your own feelings, your own emotions. So let's see what else, what is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? We have wedding rings, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love and devotion. What is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? We have cycles, time, waiting. Okay, so waiting on commitment. Their intuition is telling them to wait. Okay. And then we also have finality, goodbyes, farewells, and endings. Right? So waiting with this uh decision here commitment no commitment right saying goodbye to the connection or opening themselves up to commitment with you right we also have separation here sadness bitterness missing you thinking about you and uncertain about the future and then we also have escalate here abrupt rapid um and surge and then we also have enticing here and it says temptation, seductive and alluring. Okay. So they're, they're feeling drawn in, right? But we're already seeing here. There is this idea of whether moving towards commitment or for some of you, there could currently be separation between you and this person, right? A lost friendship, a lost relationship, whatever that might be. And... Again, I just kind of feel like they're, even though their intuition is, is, could be telling them, right? Commit here. You have a good connection with this person, right? Put more focus, put more energy. Part of them also feels torn here with the finality and the separation, right? And if you are separated from this person right now, their intuition could also be reminding them a lot of the connection that you've had with them. Um, and I feel like with the escalate here, the abrupt, the rapid and the surge, it's kind of like all of these feelings, emotions and choices, decisions, all of this energy is kind of coming up at once for them. And so their intuition already holds the answer. Their intuition is already telling them what to do, but they could be doubting it. Right. They may know, yes, you have a lot of feelings for them. They may have a lot of feelings for you. There is temptation here with this enticing energy, temptation, seductive, alluring. For some of you, like I said, there could be like, especially if you were like in a friends with benefits situation with this person and you're not committed to them, 
You know, like I said earlier, is it more than just lust? Is there something else there? Right? Is there something deeper? Can I really depend on this connection? Is this person really meant to be in my life? Or am I meant to move on from this? And that's kind of where your person is trying to find their inner voice, find their inner truth with what they truly feel is best for them in this situation. Okay? So I'm going to leave it here for you, pile number two. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So for those of you that resonate with the High Priestess from the Uncommon Tarot and this Pink Agate, this is going to be your reading today. Um, so we're asking Spirit today, what is their intuition telling them about you and the connection? So as I said in the intro, because we are asking about another person's intuition, um, the messages that may come through, some of them may be triggering. So if you're feeling super sensitive today, you may want to come back to this reading at a later time. So pile number three, what is their intuition telling them about you and the connection? What is their intuition telling them? Okay, so we do have the Queen of Swords. We also have the Emperor. What is their intuition telling them about you, Pile 3? We have the King of Pentacles. What is their intuition telling them about you? We also have the Four of Wands. Okay, so we're going to take the Page of Swords. We're going to put these back. What is their intuition telling them? We have the Three of Swords in reverse. We also have the Devil. And then we have the Five of Swords. Bottom of, wow, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting a big, wow. And we have the Lovers right underneath that. Wow. And the Ace of Cups. Look at that. Wow. Um, so I'm definitely getting this pile is about love, is about relationship, a romantic uh, connection. So right off the bat with this, the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups is the overall energy. I'm feeling that this person is very much connected to you. It feels that the two of you guys have a very strong soul connection to each other and this can be with the lover's energy here twin flame soulmate type of connection and being that we have both the king and the queen energy here and the four of wands um and the emperor uh, that this person their intuition is really telling them that you may be their person you may be their person that they are meant to be with um, that they should be committed to if they're not already. If you guys are already in a commitment, then their intuition is really telling them just how strong your bond, your connection is with them. And I almost feel like because we started off with the Queen of Swords, that their own intuition, and I'm kind of feeling where this is uh, more fear-based energy because... The Five of Swords is here. The Devil Energy is here. And so with the Queen of Swords, I feel like your person is really trying to gain clarity and trying to really stay like objective, like trying to separate themselves in a way so that they're able to think very, very clearly about the actions that they're wanting to take. Your person's intuition is telling them to kind of come up with a plan, a strategy, and be open enough to be able to express that to you. Okay, so I'm definitely, definitely getting a very strong energy here of relationship, bond, commitment, uh, twin flame, soulmate type of energy. Okay. And... I feel like their intuition is telling them to that you are their person, you know, bottom line. You are their person here. Um, 
I feel like this person has tried to, with the Queen of Swords, tried to over, like, rationalize things and be logical, be practical, and may have even tried to detach from their feelings and their emotions towards you. They could come across as very guarded to you. Um, but I feel like their intuition is, is really telling them to think clearly, carefully with logic and really come up with a plan, a strategy with how they are moving forward with either reconciliation or commitment here. And I feel like with the Ace of Cups being here, their intuition is telling them that this is an opportunity for love. This is an opportunity for commitment. That their intuition is really telling them that they have very deep feelings for you. You know, that the two of you have a very strong bond, a very strong connection with each other. This may be something that they have not experienced previously. And so this connection, I feel, is something that they feel very closely, very strongly um, to their heart, okay, that they need to really kind of allow themselves to be vulnerable, to be open, um, that this is true love. Their, their intuition is telling them this is true love, this is passionate, this is romantic, um, this connection is deep, right? The connection that they feel to you is very deep, <clears throat> And I feel like with the Page of Swords energy here and also the Queen of Swords, they, I'm seeing because we have the Three of Swords here, which is about pain, heartache, suffering, healing, right? They could be healing from heartache, healing from heartbreak from the past. Um, that after this pain that has occurred with this person, that it has been very hard for them to open up and to express um, their feelings, their emotions. There's, a, I feel like, a lot of fear that they have, a lot of old patterns of behavior that are being made, made aware with this person. The Five of Swords energy here is a lot of conflict that your person could be feeling or currently going through. Sometimes the Five of Swords can be a very self-sabotaging type of energy. And I, and I feel like even though this energy is here, the devil energy and the five of swords, you know, it could be a lot of old patterns of behavior, attachments, unhealthy attachments, patterns of behavior, toxicity, that this person is trying to work on healing themselves, right? Their intuition could be telling them to focus on healing these things, to separate themselves from this type of energy. Um... But I feel like at the at the end of the day, their gut feeling is telling them, you are their person. You are the one. You are the person that they are meant to be with. Um, and I just kind of feel like because we have the Page of Swords energy here, there could be a little bit of, you know, their intuition can also be telling them if you guys are separated right now, like if you guys had a breakup with the Three of Swords energy here, um, and this person is still healing from this breakup, that their intuition is telling them, you still love them. You still have feelings for them. They are the one. They're your person. They're the one you're meant to be with. Right? And there could be some fears and doubts that they have that get in the way and block what their intuition is telling them. Right? That fear sets in, the old ways of thinking, old self-limiting beliefs. So if you're not in contact with this person, with the Page of Swords energy here, it could be that their intuition is telling them, talk, say something, do something um, about this situation. Okay, so let's go into our Oracle messages. And we've got some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong Capricorn energy here. Gemini, okay. What is their intuition telling them about this connection? Right? This is some serious commitment here. I will say that. The King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, the Emperor. This is as committed as you can get. Right? Committed. Super committed. Um, what is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? We have Chrysacola. What is their intuition telling them? 
about you and this connection. We have Lemur Lemurian Quartz. And on this Lemurian Quartz, I'm also seeing all these little keyholes here with all these little locks, keys inside of the little holes. What is their intuition telling them about this connection? And then we also have uh, the Dalmatian stone as well. Um, so we're going to get started off with the Chrysocolla energy. Um, and this is about your person giving you, their intuition is telling them to bring you some heartfelt communication, speaking their truth, coming forward, talking to you, communicating with you, being honest, right? Because we have the Queen of Swords here. The Queen of Swords is, is a very honest, very truthful, very direct, very straightforward, no BS, right? With her communication. So your int their intuition is telling them, be open with you, be honest with you. Um, you know, to be able to kind of build trust, intimacy by speaking your truth and what it is that they are feeling, um, to speak from their hearts, don't hold back out of fear, okay, is, is also what their uh, intuition is telling them to do with this uh, situation with you. So yeah, definitely some strong feelings of, of love here. Um, and then going into the Dalmatian stone energy here as well. This card is about playfulness, childlike joy, enthusiasm for life, humor, laughter. Um, so this can also be about your person talking, expressing a lot of the feelings, the emotions that they have with you, the memories that they've shared with you. Um, you know, that uh, truly how much they care about you, how much they value Um I feel like your connection, right? Being completely open and honest, letting them, letting you know how much they cherish you, how much, how important you are, I feel like uh, to them, right? So being able to speak freely, being able to speak openly to you and to let you know how much they truly care, how much they truly love you, how much they truly see this connection as something that's very important. And these would be these fears right here, right? To speak openly and freely, but without fear. Heartfelt, deep down inside what it is that they're truly feeling. Their intuition telling them to nurture the connection. Take the risk, right? Take the risk here because we do have the King of Pentacles. Um, take the risk with the commitment. Um, and then we also have the Lemurian Quartz energy here. And this, this card is about vision, um, big picture thinking, unlocking the secrets of un, un, infinite possibility. So to me, it's kind of like their intuition is telling them that there is a lot of potential for this connection between you and them. And, you know, also having understanding that all connections have ups and downs. Um, and for them to also, you know, take a step back and really take some time to deep dive into the self about what they're feeling in this connection um, do they feel content? Do they feel like this connection is something that brings fulfillment to them? Um, yeah, it, it almost makes me feel like, are, are they really seeing, like, it's almost like their intuition is telling them, do you see what this connection is? Do you have a realization of what this connection is? Right? You're letting your fears get in the way. It's time for you to see the bigger picture of what this relationship, this connection is that you have with pile number three and to see it clearly, right? Move away from these old ways of thinking, old patterns of behavior that you've had in the past and really see this connection for what it is. And that's kind of what I'm feeling your person's intuition is telling them. So let's see what else. What is their intuition telling them? About you and this connection, pile number three. Relationship healing with Morganite. What is their intuition telling them? We have abundance and we also have spiritual awakening. Wow. Okay. So those of you where this is a twin flame, you know, or even a soulmate connection that you have with this person, 
their intuition is telling them, wake up right? Wake up to what this connection is. It's time to really focus on healing, healing your mind, healing your heart, you know, open up to this connection that you have with pile number three, their intuition is telling them. And I feel like kind of bringing some type of realization for them about how abundant, the abundance that you bring into this connection, what you have to offer. It's kind of like they're having a wake-up call to me. That's kind of what this energy is. Your person having a wake-up call. Their intuition telling them, literally, wake up. Wake the F up and see this connection for what it is. What is their intuition telling them about you? Success, right? This is like their intuition telling them, you got it. You have it right here with this person, right? Every relationship has ups and downs. If the two of you have had some type of conflict or there's some type of strain or tension, work on it, right? The grass is green where you water it, right? The grass is green where you water it, meaning that you can go from relationship to relationship to relationship and just kind of have this attitude of, oh, well, they're all messed up, right? It's all them. It's not me, right? When you really find someone, I feel like with, with what they found in you, all relationships take work. They all require commitment. They all require communication, understanding, and, and, and showing the person that you're willing to come together to work on it. So their intuition is telling them, heal this relationship. This relationship is bringing in success, abundance for you. Wake up, right? The selenite energy, also about clearing, right? Clearing away the negativity, clearing away the old patterns of behavior, clearing away any doubts that this person has had about this connection. What is their intuition telling them about you and this connection? Pile number three. We have inner strength. Okay, what a powerful image. Yeah, so look at this. We have this person who looks like they are, I don't know, this looks almost like they're covered in clay or plaster. And there is all of this cracking that is happening here within the crown, within the heart. And then we have inner strength here, which I'm feeling this is probably the solar plexus here. Solar plexus or sacral chakra. Uh, I think it's solar plexus. But mm, it's almost like your person's intuition is telling them, like almost like it's breaking them wide open. Like there is this confidence that is coming through for them, right? To trust and to believe in this connection that you have with them, right? Breaking down all of the barriers, the walls, finding courage and strength within themselves to just kind of surrender to this connection. We have divine wisdom here. Their intuition is telling them, listen. Listen here. You already know the answer. You already know what this person means to you and who this person is to you. You need to listen to your intuition. Look at this abundance again, right? And then we have the root chakra here. So with this abundance here tied into the, the root chakra, I'm feeling like this, this is uh, the root chakra is all about safety and security and grounded energy. So it's like their intuition is telling them you can trust this connection. This connection is safe. This connection is, is bringing to you and giving to you what you're looking for. Right? And we have relationships here. Right? It's like, look at these two trees. They're kissing each other. Right? And looking at them here, we have all of this green here, all of this new growth. And then in the back here, we've got all of these leaves that are turning yellow and red and right, changing colors. So this is, to me, this transformation that is taking place within them, within the two of you. 
Yeah, a lot of this is the lower chakras, the, the sacral, the root, and the solar plexus. Rebirth at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, this definitely feels like the divine connection pile. Um, you know, so it's kind of like, like I said, their intuition telling them, wake up. This is it. Don't screw it up. We've got companion. Look at this energy. Companion here. Loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. It's like, again, this is your person. This is the only pile. I will say that. This is the only pile like this. We also have God. And it says benevolence and compassion. Recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. It's like... Their intuition is telling them that you have a that they have a very strong spiritual tie, soul bond, soul connection to you. This is something that is divinely guided with this energy of God here. Companion, this is your person. What is their intention or what is their intuition telling them? We have hedonist here and it says inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life celebrates the beauty in yourself so to me it's just kind of like their intuition is is throwing off all of the alarms like this is it this is your person you found them <laughs> stop seeking look at this seeker at the bottom thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are it's kind of like your person is looking for love your person is looking for their person it's right here pay attention look deeper right? That's kind of what I'm, I'm getting from this uh, energy here. What is their intuition telling them? Look at this. This, this energy is beautiful. Oh my goodness. The sun. This is like happiness, joy, fulfillment, completion. Like you did it. You found it. Door to romance. I cannot make this up. Look at this. And we have broken heart. Okay. But we already saw the three of uh, swords in reverse, which is healing. Okay. And then we have, didn't we have a healing energy here? Relationship healing. Okay. So yeah, heal it. Get it together. This is your person. Work on this relationship. Work on this connection. This is your person. Let's see what else. What is their intuition telling them? We have intensity. We have lust. Non-committal sexual energy. What is their intuition telling them? We have better off, happiness, clear head space, and perspective. We also have separation, distance, blockage, space. And we have engagement ring, higher commitment, eternity, partnership in union, and completion here. And we have shifting perspective. Change of perspective, their attitude, and their outlook. Okay? So if they were someone, let's just say this. If they were someone with this lustful energy, non-committal, separation, creating distance between the two of you... Um, feeling maybe I'm just better off alone. Maybe I should walk away. Maybe I should pull away. This isn't real. Right? To me, that is where this shift is happening for your person. We had spiritual awakening there. So there is this shift in perspective that this person is going through. They've been trying to seek and try to find. And it's like spirit is saying, your intuition is saying, it's right here. You don't need to look any further. You don't need to... Kind of keep this energy here with pile number three of still trying to find something. You need to really find this healing within yourself, right? This awareness within the self so that you're truly able to see this connection for what it is, right? And some of you may even be kind of like in this stage right here where this person is avoidant or this person is pulling away or this person doesn't, you know, believe you. Even if you told them you're my soulmate, you're my twin flame. And they're just like, what are you talking about? I don't know what that is. You're crazy. You know, all of this stuff, right? So we have this awakening that's happening within your person. This person 
working on healing themselves. And it could be, you know, that they are, that, that you are in this stage right now with them, that they are healing, you're healing together, but their intuition is already kind of like poking at them and poking at them. That's your person, right? Get to work, do the inner work, start working on healing, work on healing this relationship. This is your person. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number three. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading.